Hi, I'm Derek from Good Times Marine. Today we're out in Botany Bay, a bit of a blustery day here. We had a southerly just come through. We're testing the brand new Haines Signature 545F. Now this boat's got a few stories and history behind it. And so let's get stuck straight into that, where this boat's actually come from. The 545 deck is actually sitting on the original 543F hull. Now, for those of you who've had enough experience with Haines Signature will know the pedigree of that 543F as being one of the greatest boats that John Haynes has built. It now forms the basis of the 543 SF, which is in my category, we're in the top two, three signature boats I've driven for fun factor. And this boat here delivers in spades thanks to that hull. So the amazing thing is if I said to someone, oh, the 525F and 545 F will ride the same, they don't. This is a very different boat to drive, probably a little bit more fun. And I can tell you with 135 horses on the back, the thing is an absolute bull terror in hole shot, very quick out of the hole, and we're clicking 70 kilometers an hour wide open throttle. Put a 150 on the back, and we should be at 75, 76 k's, I think, and uh, the acceleration will be even faster. Let's go through the boat and show you the options and features that come in this boat. All right, so let's just go up in the bow here. This is my son, Samson, number two child. He's out for the day. He's got school holidays and having some fun at the shop. All right, so you can just see how easy this walkthrough is. It's absolutely brilliant, even for the little things like being able to get off, which I'm not going to do now, on a beach. Um, in the 502 DF video, I show you how easy it is to jump in and out of the boat if you're launching the boat on your own. Um, and anchoring obviously becomes an absolute breeze. So from the point of view, you've got really big anchor well here and your access to the front is very, very simple. The other thing is if you've got a big family, fishing out of the bow here is also very, very comfortable. If you've got the kids out the back fighting over bait and whatnot, you might want a bit of peace and quiet sitting up here on your own. So another thing to consider. So coming to the back of the boat, we've got this huge big deck space and that's one of the great features of this boat. Although it's got a beam of 2.13, which is on the narrower side for a boat this long, the amount of deck space created by pushing the cabin forward makes it huge in here. Like four people fishing out of here has got amples of room. Now the narrow beam definitely doesn't cause an issue with stability. Sam, I'll come over to your side. We rock down on this and there's, um, you know, Sam's about 150 kilos and I'm about 80. And you can see how much, it really doesn't bear down that much at all. So we haven't sacrificed that stability. The boat probably weighs in somewhere in the high 800 to 900 kilos. I haven't been given an exact weight from the Haynes factory yet, being only the second one to come through this particular boat. But yeah, very, very solid through the water. It's one of those boats when you're driving, it felt a very similar to what the 575RF feels. You've got lots of trim range. The front of the boat really elevates as you're driving and it's a really, really fun feeling. Quite deep as well. Like we're both sitting here back here. This is up right up near my hips, which makes it a very, very deep boat for a five and a half meter as well. Right at the back of the boat, we've got a massive live bait tank. Um, plenty of room in there for slimy mackerels. I'll put a guess, guess and say it's getting close to 40 litres in size. The back seat's integrated in the back of this boat and folds down nicely uh, when you want to sit three people across the back. When there's no need for that, it folds up out of the way and you can get right to the back of the boat with plenty of room to do that. The back of the boat's been set up to run a Haynes bait station if you, if you wish. There's also other bait boards available. They're a little bit cheaper in price if you want to go down that road. But plenty of room here for a bait board if you'd like to do that as well. Rod storage racks are standard in the boat, down both sides. And uh, this is actually an option in the boat. It's up to you whether you want to go to the cost of putting a, a rocket launcher in or not. But if you do, this thing's salt stainless steel, solid as a house, and uh, certainly fantastic to grab onto. If you've got a few guys and you are going wide, it's rough water, you can have the crew holding onto the rocket launcher as you're driving out to sea. For the driver helm, we've got a nice modern dash layout so we've got an area here where you can run a couple of analog style gauges up here like a smart craft tack on speedo what we've done here is run with a vessel view 403 uh, which is a new way to fit it out with a four inch uh, glass screen display this is actually a nine inch sounder the dash area here will hold a 12 easily and then we've just tucked in a nice little vhf under that as well so a really well laid out area switch panels the boat actually this is, comes, we've watched from this one out, we've got the little lights in the cup holders and then lighting up the, the side pockets here with some LEDs as well, which looks fantastic. So the kill tank in the boat is pretty generous and you think that's generous and then there's another one. So it's absolutely bloody huge. So if you come home with a few fish in filling up this area, you've done exceptionally, exceptionally well for the day. 
So very, very generous area in here. I'm gonna step in here and show you up in the cabin as well. So the cabin's designed to be a full bed pretty much all the time. But in the case where you've got some heavy inclement weather, you can actually jump in here. This is actually a footwell area. And even someone my size can quite comfortably sit in here and uh, have plenty of room in here, probably for two adults to be able to sit without any problems at all. I'm just gonna put it out there and say that the 545F is gonna have a cult status. It really is a boat that pulls so many amazing features together to pr produce an excellent on-water boat. A very, very usable boat and a boat that crosses over nicely between fishing and a great family all-rounder as well. Looking at him from the boarding steps, this great transom door, this very comfortable back seat, heaps of storage for rods and uh, the side pockets here. Moving right forward into the cabin with a great bed area, also great to sit in if you want to. Then that fold open roof, really good easy access for the boat in the front bow, in the stern. It's just got so much going for it. So come down, talk to us down at Good Times Marine. The team would love to speak to you about the signature range. And uh, in particular this 545F, if you're looking for a five and a half meter boat to go fishing, spend some time on the water with the family, this boat will deliver in spades.